Street.co.uk. My name is John Lightford and this is John Murphy. <laughs> and we're here to tell you all about wine. So we've been around the world, we've been to Chile, we've been to New Zealand, and I think we're coming a little bit closer to home with a Pinot Noir. Mm, indeed we are, we've got uh, France, or Burgundy to be precise. Um, the whole point of these uh, these videos were, was to kind of compare uh, Pinot Noir from around the world. So we did the Chilean, we did, uh, which we liked, then we went on to New Zealand, which we loved. Absolutely! He's going to buy a bottle. But now we are now looking at, you know, the home, really, uh, of the Pinot Noir grape. Now obviously, in Burgundy, they, they think they do, well, no, that's awful, it's not that. Uh, it is deemed to grow the best uh, expression of the Pinot Noir grape. So, we're going to have a go at this. And as I say, we're all, they're all about a similar price. Uh, we retail from, what, 11 99 and 14 again. Okay. So, this Pinot Noir is exactly the same price as the New Zealand Pinot Noir. Okay. Okay. Now, again... No, not dissimilar. No, no, no. Actually, it's a little bit. It's still got a bit more on the um, kind of chilling. It's a little bit darker than chilling. Not quite as um, ruby because because the um, the New Zealand really was quite vibrant and really caught your eye. It's slightly more tawny than the New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, yeah, like a, kind of a little duller. Yeah. However, <coughs> let's have a. But like the New Zealand one, I can actually. I'm not anywhere near it. Still getting it on the nose. Yeah, still getting it on the nose. That smells lovely. Oh, and we've actually had this yeah. one before, haven't we? I believe so, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think when we were doing the uh, burgundy, this was the uh, the cheapest of the three we tried. Oh, look at you remembering that. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember that. Well, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is, because this is almost... I don't remember what it tastes like. I remember how much it cost. <laughs> 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 I thought it might do. Yeah, this is a kind of entry level of, of, of uh, yeah, the, the burgundy, the Pinot Noir. What do you think? That smells like um, That smells more like the Chilean than it does the New Zealand. Yeah, it's got that damp, earthy smell. Yeah. <laughs> you try to get it out. <laughs> Let's see. You have to see. It was that introduction of part one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try that at home. Yeah. I think that's going to take some practice. But yeah, yeah. and the cherries again, but I'd expect that in there. Yes. I see. It's got a spiciness there, I see. Spicy on the, okay. on the right on the end, like uh, uh, pepperiness. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have a good, I'm gonna give okay, this a go. Okay, go for this. Mm -mm. Somehow, after all of the French wine we've tasted in mm. the last few episodes, that tastes French. Okay. <laughs> we get, we're getting there, John. Well, no, 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 no. it doesn't really prove anything. You would have, really, to prove anything, you would have had to not tell me it was French. Um, but, uh, uh, we'll do that one episode, definitely. Right, right. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the, the black currant or I, I think you are, when you say taste French, I, I do know what you mean. I think it has got a traditional style mm. um, there. But, um, for me, there's not a lot going on on the on on, on the palate there. I was expecting much more from, from the nose. I was I was thinking this is going to be have a lot more, but and then the, the tannins are quite apparent there as well on the finish for me. Yes. But then um, it's almost typically. I mean, you can't it's a sweeping generalisation, but I know the French wines. A lot of French wines do. The tannins are quite strong. They're giving a bit of food that you know that I'd take those away. But the tannins aren't for me quite as strong as the Chilean. No, perhaps not. But still, they're over the new, not as good as the New Zealand. No, mm. no. It is a very nice wine, but not different enough. I mean, I think perhaps that's where the New Zealand got it for me. It was different from other wines, so it was refreshing it is, and it was it was an experience to taste. Yeah. Whereas this <clears> is a taste I've tasted before almost. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, even then, I mean, yes, it is, it is a nice wine, but I think the the New Zealand has put this into its place in that it. May, this now is for me. It's much of a muchness. Yes. If if you know yeah. what I mean. <coughs> Compared to being unkind, it's, there's nothing wrong. With no, it. no, no. There's no, there's nothing wrong. With no, it. No, no, no. Come on, bear with us. You know, you know how these things go. Uh, it, again, it's personal preference, isn't it? It is, of course. It is, of course. It. Is. But yeah, as a Pinot Noir, I don't. That's a, I'm a just massive. Very conscious that we probably we probably sort of decry French wine quite a lot. I know, I know. 
It's not, I mean, I think perhaps because France is seen as the number one wine country in the world, it's there to be hit at, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and, and, uh, and we do, you know, we were expecting a lot from it, holding such a title. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The nose for me is better than the... Uh, Definitely, on, on the palate, it is, it's just all right. And even flavour-wise, I mean, again, I know I've said this about the moment, but that is typical, that kind of cherryishness comes through, but it kind of just stays there, there's nothing, it doesn't go off like, these other movies we can really get stuck in, or especially New Zealand, really got stuck into that, but... Yeah. I think where it is for me, I think that, for me, it's the tannins. I'm, I'm not liking the tannins in there, but then again, that is my personal uh, preference. For me, the other one would just had that uh, had more of a vibrant fruity berry taste, mm. and, and that was uh, really well. It had everything, didn't it? Yeah. it went from the, even, even the colour on there, the nose on there, you know, that is that's hit punching everything there, everything you want from wine. Just yeah, on that. it was there. Yeah, we should have done this one second. We should have done. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. No, it's uh, and I do emphasize that just because we're saying we like this one. Uh, we like mm. New Zealand, the New Zealand one better than this, doesn't even say you won't, so uh, mm. well, you should try all three um, in one evening, it will be fun. Sure. <laughs> Give us a shout, I'll come round, I'll like the idea. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, as I say, nothing wrong with that, it's a very nice red wine, but in terms of these three, for our p personal palettes, yep. New Zealand gets it. New Zealand every day of the week. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay. right, well. Um, it's too late to tell you that if you wanted an express version of that, that's our <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but anyway, um, we're uh, leaving it there, eh? We're, uh, yeah. we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Chin chin! Chin chin!